of pearls. She's a small wonder, a child unlike other girls. She's a miracle, and I grant you, she'll enchant you at her sight. She's a small wonder, and she'll make your heart take flight. La, 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 la. Plastic microchips here and there. She's a small wonder. Brings love and laughter everywhere. Harriet, told you not to talk to me at school. <laughs> Us sixth graders don't talk to you fourth graders. It's bad for my reputation. <laughs> well, it's good for mine. <laughs> Jamie? How'd you know it was me? I recognize your belly button. <laughs> Listen, I can't play basketball today. Why not? I tell Stephanie I'll walk her home. A girl over basketball? Sure. What are you doing? I'm trying to find the hole where your brain's leaked out. <laughs> Hi, guys. What's happening? Nothing's happening, Phyllis. I got no one to play one-on-one -on -one with. I'll play with you, Jamie. Look, Phyllis, I don't hang out with girls. But if I did, you'd be my first choice, because you don't look too much like one. <laughs> don't take it personally, OK? OK. And don't take this personally. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, what a dumb sex they turned out to be. <laughs> I felt the same way about it when I was your age. What? You're only a month older than I am. Yeah, but what a month. <laughs> wow. Look at her. You're aging fast, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie? Huh? I thought girls were a waste of time. Yeah, and I could sure waste some time with her. <laughs> Who is she? Jessica something. She's new in school. Well, see you tomorrow. Hey, you jerks! Get back here and say you're sorry! Are you okay? You think so. Well, at least there's one gentleman in this school. Thank you. Uh, what's your name? Oh. <laughs> Don't you know your name? It's on the tip of my tongue. It's Jamie, Jamie Lawson. See, I remember my last name, too. Congratulations. Oh, look at my leg. I already did, both of them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a bad bruise. Want a Band-Aid? Merci, monsieur. Here. <laughs> Not to mention unsanitary. Right. Let me help you. Ow! Sorry. I mean, really sorry. Really, really, really. Please, you're giving me a headache. Sorry. Oops. Can I see you again? Only from a distance. <sighs> Dummy, you just blew a happy marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Ted? Ah. Notice anything different? No. Uh, no. But I bet the correct answer is yes. Your own robot gets a new pinafore and you don't even notice. Mm. Men. Men. <laughs> Vicky, model up for him the way that I showed you. Well, that's cute, honey, but personally, I'd like to see a little more neck. A little more neck. <laughs> Let's see Christy Brinkley do that. <laughs> uh, it's enough with the E.T. impression, Vicky. Put your neck down. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Jamie, what's wrong? Are you sick? Mm. 
Where does it hurt? Here. Heartburn? Worse. <laughs> Jessica started a whole forest fire. Uh-oh, I think our little boy has been bitten by the love bug. Love bug, I'll get the insect spray. No, no, Vicky, wait. This bite is usually fatal. Honey, I thought you didn't like girls. Jessica isn't a girl. She's a goddess. <laughs> Jessica. Jessica. Beautiful name, isn't it? Gives me goosebumps. <laughs> Everything about Jessica is beautiful. You should see her knee. <laughs> her knee? She bruised it and I gave her my Band-Aid. Band-Aid? This yeah. really does sound serious. Yeah. Yeah, you could say we sort of got a love-hate relationship. I love her and she hates me. <laughs> what makes you say that, Jamie? I was trying so hard. I did everything wrong. She thinks I'm a total clut. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't that bad. I even forgot my own name. It's that bad. <laughs> what do I do now? How can I make up for it and impress her? First, remember your name. Come on, Jamie. All you got to do is invite her to lunch and apologize. I mean, you can be very charming. I ought to know. You got it from me. <laughs> <laughs> What if I make a special lunch and you ask Jessica to share it with you tomorrow? Would you like that? Oh, that'd be great, Mom. <laughs> but it's got to be real special. I'm thinking caviar. I'm thinking champagne. <laughs> I'm thinking chicken salad. I'm thinking root beer. <laughs> That's my second choice. <laughs> I hope I don't mess up again. I wish I could be debonair like the guy in that movie last night. You know, Cary Grant. Cary Grant. Judy, Judy, Judy. <laughs> hey, maybe I can be like him. Terribly good to see you, Jess. You look positively radiant. <laughs> Won't you join me for lunch? How's that, Vicky? You're a total klutz. <laughs> a nice, big, juicy slice of tomato. And then, oh, what a smell. Yuck. Oh, they're all spoiled. Forget the tomato. Forget the tomato. Go. Morning, girls. Morning. Morning. Where's Jamie? Oh, he already had his breakfast, and then he went back up to his room to put on more cologne. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I think it's just great the way he's gone overboard about a girl all of a sudden. I did the same thing myself. Her name was Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? I was in college. College? Yeah. I had to take a second job to pay for all the gifts and the steak dinners. Nothing was too good for Barbara. <laughs> you were going with me in college. Who's Barbara? <laughs> Barbara, did I say Barbara? You said Barbara. Who asked you? You were seeing Barbara while you were taking me out and buying me hamburger while she was getting steak? Well, honey, you see... Steak, Ted? Uh, Joni, you see... Steak, Ted? <laughs> they were cheap cuts. Men. You're learning, Vicky. Good morning. Well, I'm going. How do I look? Uh, very handsome, honey. I hope I don't get tongue-tied again. Oh, you won't. Just be your own sweet self. Oh, well, here's your lunch. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. I gotta get going, too. Come on, Vicky. Uh, honey, 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 uh, w w what about my breakfast? Let Barbara make it. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, remember me? How could I forget? Yeah. Well, I was wondering, would you like to share my lunch today? No, thanks. I have my own. Yeah, but this one's real special. 
I had it made especially for you. For moi? No, just for you. Moi is an invited. <laughs> <laughs> moi means me in French. Don't you know French? Oh, sure. I was just joking. Say something to me in French. Say something? <laughs> you mean actual words? <laughs> of course, silly. Well, uh... I love the French fries. <laughs> French. You lied to me, didn't you? Yeah, I guess I was just trying to impress you. Pretty dumb, huh? Very dumb. Hey, there's something we have in common. We both think I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, you're very strange. But at least you make me laugh. I like to laugh. Hey, yeah, me too. Okay, I'll have lunch with you. Oh, great. This is real special. Ladies first. Thank you. What is this? A bag of rotten tomatoes? <laughs> you have a sick sense of humor, Jamie. Jessica, this is a mistake. If you like to laugh, now would be a good time. Get it. <laughs> Boy, that's what I call getting dumped on. <laughs> way to start a relationship. Bringing the woman I love a bag of rotten tomatoes. What do I do now? I know what I do if I were you. What? I take a bath. You stink. <laughs> How can I get Jessica to accept my apology? Well, if you insist on making up with her, at least do it right. Don't go groveling. Why not? I'm good at groveling. <laughs> Trust me, you're talking to the master. I'm the original party animal. <laughs> I've got three girlfriends. Three? Sure. Why make one woman miserable when well, you can make a lot of them happy? <laughs> OK, so what do I do? Just stay cool. Here, I'll show you. You walk up to Jessica like this, see? And you say, hi, baby. <laughs> it's your lucky day, because the man is back. <laughs> Just stay cool. That's the key word. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Hey, there she is. Go get her, Tiger. Uh, cool. to lunch tomorrow, and we're having rotten eggs. <laughs> I'll do anything if you'll just forgive me. I can't think of one reason why I should. Well, there are lots of reasons. Like, uh, if you don't, it'll spoil your party. A party for moi? Yes. Oh, I like that. OK, Jamie, I forgive you. When's the party? Uh, Saturday night. That's tomorrow. It is? <laughs> I mean, right. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. I'll give you my address after class. I'll be there. See you. She patted my face. She's crazy about me. I guess my plan worked, huh? My plan worked. I groveled my way into her heart. <laughs> and get this, Reggie. She's going to be my date at the party I'm throwing her tomorrow night. No kidding? Did I hear the word party? I'm not doing anything tomorrow night. Well, you're still going to be doing it. <laughs> Phyllis, you said you hate parties. Yeah, but I still like to be invited. OK, Phyllis, would you like to come to my party tomorrow night? Are you crazy? <laughs> I hate parties. <laughs> oh, that's it, Vicky. You're going to have a green thumb to go with your pink plastic fingers. <laughs> Hi, honey. Where'd you get the flower? From Barbara? <laughs> no, not from Barbara, wise guy. I got it from this little old lady on the street corner. 
Well, like she said, Barbara. <laughs> well, I, I brought you this peace offering. Maybe you'll forget about Barbara. Mm, it's a little small for a mink coat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, honey, it's just what I've always wanted. Steaks. <laughs> <laughs> Fillets, huh? The best steak Barbara ever got was rump. <laughs> do, I, uh, do I get your lips now? Both of them. Mm. Oh, no. Now you're doing it outside where the whole neighborhood can see. Hi, Jamie. How'd your lunch with Jessica go? Great, if you like rotten tomatoes. Oh, oh I must have given you the wrong bag, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you can make it up to me. Can I please have a party? What sort of party? To welcome Jessica to our school. You know, sometime in the future. When in the future? Tomorrow night. <laughs> Jeez, it's really important. Jessica's gonna be my date. I wanna show her that I wasn't raised on rotten tomatoes. <laughs> well, it's a little sudden, but it's okay with me if it's okay with Mom. Oh, sure, this is just the kind of challenge that we mothers thrive on. Besides, I owe you one. Great, thanks, Mom. Oh, you're welcome, babe. Thanks, Dad. No problem. <laughs> I better go make out my guest list. Yeah, uh, try to keep it down to 300 for a sit-down dinner. Uh, hey, honey, you know, a party could be good for Vicky, too. I mean, if I'm raising a robot to be like a real kid, it should mingle with real kids, right? She might even become a real party animal. <laughs> that I've got to see. Uh, Vicky, have, have you uh, finished watering all the flowers? Uh, but when... <laughs> Boy, everybody seems to be having a good time, especially me. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's for the kids. I want a hot dog. <laughs> okay, but just one, you big ham. Mm -hmm. You gotta give me a hand here first. Okay. You too, Vicky. Here's a hand. No, Vicky, don't <laughs> take it off. Walk this way, Vicky. Get ready for the date of your life. Do I look okay? What have you got on? Some of my dad's cologne. It's called Rambo Number One. <laughs> Hi, big fella. Boy, you smell awful. But let's dance anyway. <laughs> Harriet? Will you let go, woman? <laughs> I'll be waiting. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jessica. Come on, Donnie. Jamie, I would like you to meet Donnie Beck, my date. Your date? Hey, kid. I knew you wouldn't mind if I brought someone, since I'm the guest of honor. Mind? Of course not. Why would I mind? The more the merrier, I always say. Be merry, everybody. Have fun. Live it up. Let the good times roll! Laugh! Have a ball! That little two-timing two-timer. <laughs> Who? Jessica. My date brought her own date. Oh, no. Oh, no. How can I go back out there now? It's too embarrassing. Jamie, it'd be worse not to go. You've invited your friends here to have a good time. And as a good host, you owe it to them not to let them see what you're feeling. That's right. It'd be wrong to spoil the party for them. Uh, I'll try. That's my boy. There'll be lots of other Jessicas in your life. No, I'm through with women. I'm going straight from grammar school to the monastery. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing? Having a good time? All right, get down. Let's keep those good times rolling. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi. Do I know you? If I had a baseball cap on, you'd know me. 
Phyllis? <laughs> I wasn't gonna come, but I changed my mind. <laughs> you changed a lot more than that. <laughs> my mother says I should wear it just once before I grow out of them. Do I look dumb? Gosh, no. I just never thought you could fill a dress like that. <laughs> Jamie, would you like to dance? Bug off, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Phyllis, would you like to dance? Sure. But I don't know how. Oh, it's easy. It's like one-on-one -on -one basketball, only no elbows to the stomach. <laughs> All right, get down. Oh, well, you look at that. Yeah. Looks like Jamie's given up the monastery for the Playboy Club. <laughs> Mrs. Lawson, hmm? would you cut a dance? Oh, I'd be delighted, Reggie. Thank you. Oh. Mrs. Lawson, would you like to dance? Bug off, Harriet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down. <laughs> She's a small wonder, lovely and bright and soft curves. She's a small wonder. Child unlike other girls, she's a miracle, and I grant you, she'll enchant you at her sight. She's a small wonder, brings love.